online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 6.30 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Higgerty. Here's the news for Friday, February 5th. The superintendent of Cary School says the state trooper killed in a car crash yesterday had been living his dream. And no matter where you go in that town, everyone seems to have something good to say about Andrew Baldridge. Barrett Andrews spent the day there. Barrett, what are people saying? Well, they all tell me he was, simply put, a great person, the ideal role model for kids, perfect manners, and he was on his way to being an amazing trooper. These images are still raw for people living in the village of Cary, especially for people here at Cary Schools, where Trooper Andrew Baldridge's parents work. The flag outside flew at half-staff today in memory of the 2003 graduate. Superintendent Mark Vary knew Andrew had a bright future ahead, saying even in his yearbook picture you could tell he was destined to be a state trooper. In high school, he played basketball, football, and took part in track, and since graduation, he's come back as a volunteer coach. So when this news started spreading last night, school officials started their phone alert system to fill everyone in. Today, counselors and coaches were available to talk to students because Vary says no matter who you were, if you met Andrew, he had some sort of impact on your life. You're not going to find a young man that was as respectful as he was, and it was genuine. I mean, it was an actual genuine respect and caring for people. Very says he can only imagine how much more good Andrew could have done if his life hadn't been cut short. And Baldridge had just graduated from the State Patrol Academy in December. As for his training officer, Trooper Mark McLaughlin, who was also in the car that night, he was released from Mercy St. V's earlier today. We're live in the newsroom. Barrett Andrews, Fox Toledo News. This tragic story is getting a lot of comments on our website. A friend wrote, Andy will be sadly missed. He touched the lives of many people. You knew he was a great person the moment that you met him. Again, that coming from a friend. We've also heard from K.O. Martin. I'm a retired state trooper, retired in 1994, and my heart goes out to the family and the patrol of the loss of Trooper Baldridge. Lost one of my troopers in 1990, and the hurt never leaves you. God bless you all. Lucas wrote, along with being a state trooper, Andy was always willing to help out with football in whatever we did. Whenever somebody was having a flat or a bad day, he was always cracking jokes or saying something that motivated us to get back on track. I could be nervous in a big game, but Andy never would be. He kept going with all the good things he would do for us. He is dear to me, and he is dear to so many other people, and he will be missed. If you want to check, check out the comments or if you want to make even more comments, go to foxtoledo.com. You can leave your thoughts there about Trooper Baldridge and Trooper Mark McLaughlin by going to Facebook or Twitter.